Hello and welcome. I am Robot Genie and we are here today in Crusader Kings 2 with, you know, like a whole bunch of expansions and stuff. <laughs> um, so I am looking to start a Crusader Kings 2 series and uh, I'm probably going to play in India because I've played here before and I thought it was a lot of fun. I've actually played a couple games of CK2. Uh, I haven't really done much in the HRE but done like the old gods and all that and, you know, like I don't know, over in Spain and stuff. But whatever, I mean, none of that really matters. Uh, the real reason I want to pick India is because you can't expand that fast, um, because the Holy War cast ability is only uh, one, uh, what is it, one one county. Um, as long as I'm a Sindh or a Buddhist. And the reason I want to do that and have, it, have a slower expand is because I want to bring this into EU4 after. Uh, and, and try. I found a mod that um, does the plays around with the uh, official uh, CK2 to EU4 converter. Um, I don't have it installed yet, but uh, I, I am going to check it out uh, probably close to the end of this series because it's not necessary to do right now. Um, but basically, it claims that it, it it helps to change the way technology and um, buildings and the value of provinces is transferred over between the games so it, it it mods onto the dlc and uh that sounds really appealing to me i'd like to test it out i was going to kind of wait to do this until the art of war came out but i don't know i'm impatient i kind of want to play uh some ck2 and uh yeah so i would like see the problem is i <laughs> I always click the old god start because it's the oldest start, and I feel I just feel like I gotta I gotta do that. But maybe we should do the 1066 start. I've actually never played from the 1066 start. I just bought the game outright with old gods and never have played the 1066 start. Uh, so this guy, despite um, all this being Jain right here, um, I don't want to be Buddhist because I, I played Buddhist last time. Well, I mean Buddhist is good too. You know, whatever. Uh, you know, this island is a lot of fun, and I don't have anything super against playing it. <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is a Zoroastrian province? Huh. Yeah, so it's like, um, despite all this land being Jain, um, they're all Hindu rulers over it. Yeah, the Hindus rule over all this land, but uh, a lot of it is Jain. The Hindus even rule over a lot of Buddhist land that is still Buddhist. Mm. So that's uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, let's see. We need we need a count or uh, we need a count or a duke that is uh, Jain. Well, not there. These guys are Hindus. This guy's a Jain. You know what? Uh, we're gonna play this guy over here, got in Godwad, and uh, we'll work our way to the coast and uh, see what we can do with that. That sounds uh, good to me. I don't. Just hoping that it doesn't put me in too weak of a position so that like I don't wanna like kinda screw myself over. Right. Um Then we I mean we could always come and do this one. Oh, and these guys are a little bit stronger here. Uh in the Duke section, yeah, and in eight in eight sixty seven, um, wow, that's a big empire, the Parathia, Parathari. What does the world look like? Sejus, that mid Byzantium Empire. So the Byzantium Empire in eight sixty seven isn't as consolidated. Wow, everything split here. Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, let's just do 867. Why not? Um, 
Uh, I think I should just make a choice. So we're gonna do Maru. Uh, I do want to be close to the water. I want to move into the water at some point soon. Well, this guy's Jane right here. So is that guy. This guy's not Jane. No one on the water is Jane. It's kind of crap. These guys are Buddhist. Yeah, we'll be the Maru. Uh, we're gonna do Ruler Designer. That guy looks uh, totally fine. Um, hmm. Well, what, do, what do we want as a Signia? Uh, the layout. Uh, apparently, we cannot change the layout. So. I mean, I would not. Ooh. I mean, I, I do like. I do like the Buddha there. I don't know if the Buddha is a symbol of Jainism or not. I don't know much about Jainism. I know a little bit about Buddhism. <laughs> Only slightly, though. Nothing uh, too crazy. I don't really know a ton. So I don't even know like what the Jain symbols really are. I mean, I assume these coats of arms are uh, reflect the religion, um, but yeah, I mean, I I know the Jain were like pacifists, but that's totally not how we're gonna play them. But so are uh, so were the Buddhists. They weren't big on war either, and uh, you know what? You, you don't. <laughs> You just don't really play CK2 like that. <laughs> you know? You, you, uh, um, I guess. That looks a little ugly, doesn't it? I just want something kind of interesting. Well, let's see. What are they using here? They're using red, black, and green. But that's a Hindu symbol. I believe. It looks Hindu to me. Okay. What if we do... Oh, that looks a little bit weird. Whatever, I like that. We're gonna go, we're gonna go with that. Sure, you know? That's our, that's our Signia. We got it. We're good. Um... Let's see, what what kind of, uh, of course I could have always just changed my religion here and gone with whatever I wanted, but that, that's fine. We'll go with somebody who's already supposed to be Jane. Uh, educational trait, let's um, do, yeah, an elusive shadow, yes, I think, uh, or it's either an elusive shadow or the brilliant strategist is very good because of the health. <laughs> Yeah, because of the health and then intrigue and stewardship and martial. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant strategy is actually really good. It's really good. The thing is, I probably want high intrigue. Uh, I don't know. I might be just consolidating my realm here for a little while. So we, we can go with brilliant strategies. Now, I know I can have a ton of holdings as a Jane, um, which we may or may not want to do, to be honest. It's gonna cost us a lot. Let's see. Uh, now, what I'm gonna do is, yeah, this dude's gonna be a lunatic, or he's gonna be at the very least possessed. Yeah, definitely possessed. And and the reason we're gonna do that is, you know, because because I want him to be possessed. Wow. Okay. Uh, genius is now strong. Wow, strong is uh, super good. So, oh, man, I didn't mean to lose all of that. So if we do strong, what else do we need to put in here so we can, like, not be age 73? Um, let's see. Wounded uh, will fix itself. So that's fine. Uh, we can, we can totally be a lunatic. We're going to at least be possessed. So we'll pick possessed. Then, um, 
lustful. We could be lustful. I don't want to be slothful. Craven, no. Deceitful? Deceitful's pretty good. Arbitrary, no. Cynical, no. Cruel? I've heard cruel is really bad for leading uh, troops. Hmm. We're gonna go one of these that doesn't cost anything, so uh, we'll be a heavy infantry leader. And then what's this? Uh, so this Jane one gives you plus one health. This one gives you plus five vassal opinion. So we're gonna go with the plus five vassal opinion uh, because we're gonna be we're gonna be a lunatic possessed leader. <laughs> yeah, we'll be a lunatic and be possessed. Uh, you because. It's actually really fun to be a uh, get some nice fun options. Everybody hates you, and uh, <laughs> we'll be we'll be patient too. Uh, no, mm, I guess yeah, I guess that's good. Rage twenty five. Um, do we want any more points in any of this uh, intrigue? Let's make him be uh, twenty seven. That's how old I am. And let's see. Uh, what should his first name be? Uh, Nagdio. That sounds good. And he'll be from the Pathan. We'll be not nah, Pathan. Mm. Chanchu. Centuri. So. Solanki? Solanki? The Solanki Empire? Solanki Empire. Mm. I mean, this is a big decision, because this is going to span over two, two uh, sections. I think I do want Solanki, uh, if it comes back around. There we go. We're going to do that. Solanki, or whatever. So Solanki. You know, if I had gone into Europe, I probably would have been able to pronounce that better. But let's, uh, yeah, let's let's just go and play here. Uh, you know, we had a little bit of game set up here. Let's, you know, that's fine. Now let's see if I can remember how to play. And we get our little insignia here. That's good. Somebody sharing like a similar but um, blasphemous insignia over here. That clearly needs to be um, clearly needs to be destroyed. Uh, definitely, definitely needs to be destroyed. Uh, we we have like no counselors. Uh, that's interesting. Direct vassals. Uh, okay. Sol Solanki, that's us. And let's see. Yeah, let's just see what we own and and everything. Uh, yeah, we have open council. Let's pick an ambition. We want to get married, like, right away. Now, what does my religion allow me? Where is my religion? It has been a little bit... Okay, there we go. There's religion. It's not a cross. It's right. Because we're not playing Christianity. Um... Jainism, there is no religious head. Castrates do not matter, cannot declare holy wars, cannot declare subjugation wars against all Indian religions. Oh, can declare subjugation wars against all Indian religions. Much lower chance of provincial revolts. Large bonuses to all vassal opinions. That's good, because we're possessed and people are going to not like us. Rulers can hold a larger den... den... Zins. Uh, and can designate any valid offspring as heir. Yeah, okay, super powerful. They are very, <laughs> really these Indian uh, things are very good. Uh, so let's let's solve the marriage problem first. Um, arrange marriage. Uh, I think, can I take concub concubines? Um, or maybe that's just Buddhism. Maybe only Buddhism can take concubines. Uh, yeah, I didn't see that I could take concubines. That would be unfortunate. I really like concubines. Um, I don't 
not see concubines, but we'll see. We'll try. I guess we'll just try. Uh, so let, let's just look for some good traits here. And, uh, oh, this, this girl is strong and, um, really good, uh, what is it? Uh, really good stewardship. She would marry me. It's going to cost us some prestige. I don't, I don't give a crap. We'll get that prestige back. Um, title loss on, yeah, right. Uh, because, because we have no heir. That is correct. Uh, let's get a chancellor. And then a marshal, a steward, and then we're going to have, hmm, yeah, well, okay, he has a positive opinion on me now. We don't want a negative opinion spy, that's for sure. Then let's, uh, let's start doing some things here. Uh, I think our religion is all fine and stuff over here, so we're going to research cultural tech. That sounds fine. Uh, let's... How do all my vassals like me? Uh, they like me a bit. They like me okay. That's so. That's fine. I don't think I need to scheme. So we could probably just study technology. Um, where would be a good place to study technology? Now we can't really reach that far. Oh, let's let's do it in the the Abbasid dynasty. dynasty. I don't think it really matters too much early on where we do it. Uh, and then we're gonna um, train troops, train troops. Uh, so we're collecting taxes, training troops in the capital, uh, and then well, let's let's see what kind of Cassus bellies we have. We don't have a Cassus belly here. We don't have a Cassus belly here. We don't have a Cassus belly. Yeah, we don't we don't really have a lot of Cassus bellies. In fact, what we probably want to do is build up our power to claim an independence war uh, when these guys start to fracture. Uh, that's what we should probably be looking for. Uh, I, hmm. So I, I kind of want to fabricate some claims here so I can expand this way, uh, potentially without getting killed by the Emperor. And then, um, and then, uh, then we can start attacking outside the Empire and try to get a bunch of power and maybe eventually break free. I mean, definitely eventually break free, but... We'll do it all a little bit cautious, like, um, yeah, sounds, uh, sounds good. So, right, what was I doing? Uh, council, fabricate claim, yeah, we're going to fabricate claim there. That's a really big county. Convert to Liege's religion, yeah, absolutely not, no, we're not, we're not converting to Hindu. Um, we could go on a tiger hunt at some point. I would love to search for a guru. Hold a feast. We can always change our religious branch. Gain, it's like exchange prestige for piety. Could convert to Buddhism. Nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to, we're going to stay Jane. Uh, I like, I think Jane's fine. Oh, oh, right. We wanted to see if we could do some concub... Take concubine. Oh, we can... Okay, yeah. We can totally do concubines. That's, that's great. Um, we just, we just gotta find them. We just gotta find some. Uh, so lots of times I've found that people refuse to give you concubines. So we gotta, like, we gotta go, like, join some of our legion's battles. And, uh, oh, wow, that guy accepts. Okay, that's that's good. Um, wow. Okay, <laughs> they are. Uh, so normally they don't give you concubines, but those guys just were like, "Yeah, here, have some concubines." So that that's fine. That's great. Uh, I thought I would have to capture them and you know, be like, it's either jail or concubinage. But no, no, apparently not. I can uh, I can just have them. Uh, we are not going to start a faction yet. Uh, let's... Now, I'm probably not going to unpause this video. We're, we'll save unpausing for the next video. So let's just check one more thing before we move on, which is the military strength. Uh, total levy of liege is 3,632. 
And uh, I wonder what my total levy is. All right, that's that's my leash. Uh, military. Uh, not that high. We get about a third of that. But, uh, you know, we're pretty good. We get like a third of our the levy of the liege. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't start a faction yet, but um, we could totally do something at some point. Don't have a lot of good tech. Um, yeah, we're going to do max feudal levies, especially with um, all the opinion that people have of us. Should be good. We we want to change off a of gavel kind uh, this rule too. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this episode. So if you're liking this series and want to see more, uh, make sure to like and or subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Later.